Welcome readers. Today's reading lesson is going to start off with a read aloud. This is the story, Seven Blind Mice. Let's take a look. Pay attention to the details of this read aloud as I read. There's lots of little details in the illustrations. You can see the mice tails there. One day, seven blind mice were surprised to find a strange something by their pond. What is it? They cried and they all ran home. On Monday, Red Mouse went first to find out. Can you see Red Mouse? It's a pillar, he said. No one believed him. On Tuesday, Green Mouse set out. He was the second to go. There's Green Mouse. It's a snake, he said. No, said Yellow Mouse on Wednesday. It's a spear. He was the third in turn. The fourth was Purple Mouse. He went on Thursday. It's a great cliff, he said. Orange Mouse went on Friday, the fifth to go. It's a fan, he cried. I felt it move. The sixth to go was Blue Mouse. He went on Saturday and said, it's nothing but a rope. But the others didn't agree. They began to argue. A snake, a rope, a fan, a cliff. Until on Sunday, White Mouse, the seventh mouse, went to the pond. When she came upon the something, she ran up one side and she ran down the other. She ran across the top and from end to end. Ah, said White Mouse, now I see. The something is as sturdy as a pillar, supple as a snake, wide as a cliff, sharp as a spear, breezy as a fan, stringy as a rope, but all together the something is an elephant. And when the other mice ran up one side and down the other across the something from end to end, they agreed. Now they saw too. The mouse moral, <laughs> knowing in part, may make a fine tale but wisdom comes from seeing the whole. Right, that's the end of our story there. I'm gonna flip over to our slides. So what I noticed while I read was that the characters were seeing different things. Green Mouse here thought the something was a snake and Red Mouse thought the something was a strong pillar. Seems, oh, and Blue Mouse thought the something was a rope. Friends, did you know different people or characters can see or experience things differently? This is called perspective. The way one person experiences or sees something. Each mouse in the story saw something different. They each had a different perspective. The blue mouse thought that the something was a rope because the blue mouse was on the tail of the elephant. The red mouse thought it was a pillar because the red mouse was by the foot of the elephant. And the green mouse thought it was a snake because the green mouse was by the trunk of the elephant. So all these mice had different perspectives. They saw things differently. I was wondering what the elephant's perspective was of all the little mice running all over him. All right, let's dig a little deeper into what is perspective. Remember, perspective is the way one person experiences or sees something. Two people or characters can see or experience things differently. Just like our example, the green mouse and red mouse had different perspectives. They thought different things. Remember, the green mouse thought, had the perspective that the mystery was a snake, right? 
And the red mouse's perspective was that that mystery something was a pillar. Today, you're gonna look at two pictures. You're gonna examine this photo from an ant's perspective and from a boy's perspective, okay? And you're gonna think about these things while you examine the photo. What might the ant do in this situation? How might the ant feel? And what might the ant say? Same thing for the boy. What might the boy be doing? How might the boy feel? What might the boy say? Then you're gonna answer these questions, okay? You're gonna type here and fill out the chart, thinking about what is the ant's perspective in this photograph and what is the boy's perspective? Then dragging the circle over to say, were these two characters' perspectives different or the same? All right, this is all in one slideshow today, so we hope you enjoy thinking about different characters' perspectives. Have fun, readers, bye!